So I've been dying to use uh, one of my favourite words at the moment, and uh, that's called schadenfreude. <laughs> uh, and schadenfreude is the um, delight that we take in others' misfortune. So uh, I suffer from it. We all suffer from it. I'm sure my um, readers and uh, uh, subscribers of the Leaders' Digest also suffer from it. So I want to know, with that in mind, what is a recent mistake that you have made? in your role and what did it teach you? Uh, I thought about this question a lot actually. I think um, I, I think I stuff up every day. It's just the scale that changes, <laughs> I think. Um, but, but a couple that come to mind, um, which is, you know, and when I do it, I kind of kick myself. I'm like, rookie mistake, but uh, at least I'm self-aware about it now that I know where I'm going and I can kind of in the moment feel it is diving straight into content. If I'm trying to sell an idea or a concept with a group of people, my peers, uh, and instead of setting context and setting the why and then kind of gently taking them down conceptually, here's how I'm thinking about it, diving straight into here's my idea and here's why it's great, um, and a big lesson that I'm quite self-aware of is if I ever in the moment feel myself in convincing mode, I think this is not going to work it's exhausting, uh, it's limiting, um, and we're losing the why. So I just, I step back. I and love I kind that. of reframe. Yeah, mm. so this watch out, it's almost like your amber light is this feeling yes. of, of I'm in convincing yeah. mode. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. really great.